This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. It is 625. How many times do you hit the drive through of a fast food restaurant? Whether you're grabbing something to eat for you and your kids between sports games or just not in the mood for cooking dinner at home. We have all done it and most of the time we pick something that isn't as healthy as we'd like it to be, but it doesn't have to be that way. Dr. Trish Sexton, the Associate Dean for Curriculum for the Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine is here with us this morning to separate the good and the bad. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks. Good. So my main question is, like um, some fast food restaurants like McDonald's have now posted, you know, their calorie intake for each item on the menu. Do you think that's a good idea? Right. You know, um, it looks like that's probably going to be mandated mm -hmm. in the near future, but McDonald's is really being proactive. I think it is a good idea. There are a couple of studies that have actually shown that it changes the food choices in about one in six people. Mm -hmm. So that's one person making better choices. So uh, I hope that as it becomes more prevalent, mm -hmm. people will begin to look at it and pay attention and, and make better choices. Okay. And uh, with fast food restaurants, obviously some of the items on their menu can be in, you know, already hitting the thousand calorie yeah. mark. What are some things that maybe somebody should look for? Like, you know, sh instead of getting the hamburger, should they go for the chicken sandwich? Or what do you right, recommend? Right, right. Well, definitely avoid anything that uses the word big or deluxe or super. Those are all tip-offs. Mm -hmm. um, the chicken is a good mm -hmm. choice. Make sure it's grilled, not fried. And mm -hmm. almost all of the fast food restaurants now you know, offer some healthier choices. Salads are a great option. Uh, be careful with the dressing. That's where the calories are. Mm -hmm. So you can always look at salads. You do want to be careful in some places, like Taco Bell, for instance, the salad is the, the highest calorie item on the menu. Really? So you kind of have to do some homework. Mm -hmm. And if you are really trying to be careful about your eating, you know, there are many websites you can look at even beforehand that can kind of prepare you to make make better choices. And when people go to these restaurants, like say, you know, they go to Subway or something and you right. know how they always ask you for cookies. You can still have that cookie, but instead of maybe getting a soda, you know, get a water instead to have that cookie, right? Sure, absolutely. And Subway is, you know, when we think about fast food, Subway is a great option. There are many, many good uh, choices that you can make at mm -hmm. Subway. Um, there are a couple of not so good choices, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of good choices. And they have had the fat grams and the caloric content of mm -hmm. their uh, at least some of their sandwiches on their menu for a long time. So Subway's a great, a great choice. Too. And when it comes to bread choices for Subway, do you do you recommend yeah. one over the other? Is do you um, want to go whole wheat all the way or? Is whole wheat is always the best option for the fiber content. You know, if you're going to eat bread, going with whole wheat is always the best. Um, so the flat breads may have slightly fewer calories in terms of uh, the carb mm -hmm. content. But um, Subway breads are, are pretty good overall. Okay, so we can go to fast food restaurants, we can get healthier choices, but we just have to maybe do our homework or like you said, instead of getting you know, the fried chicken sandwich, get the grilled chicken sandwich. Or... Absolutely. All right, well thanks so much. You're welcome, thank and, you. And uh, right now.